Dave Stalin here. Let's talk about some applications problems. But before we do that, we need to straighten out a couple things on how to use these equations to solve for a variable. So in this example, we got a circle, x squared plus y squared equals 16. And normally we would have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And in this case, the x and the y, there's no, there's no h and k, so that means the h and the k value are 0, 0, so the center is at 0. And if r squared is 16, the radius is 4. So there we go. So that's the equation for the circle. What if you want to find the y value when x is equal to 3? So in a sense, we're going out 3, and we want to find out how far up you go. Well, there's the x we want to solve for the y. So we have x squared, so 3 squared, plus y squared equals 16, and we solve for the y. So we can subtract 9 from both sides and get 7. And then take the square root, and y equals plus or minus the square root of 7, which is approximately 2.6. So what's going on here is when you, we plug in x equals 3, we get two values. We get this y, which is 2.6. And we also get this one down here, which is negative 2.6. But which is the one that we want? That one right there. Okay, so far so good. So let's go to something a little more complicated. We have this picture over here. And the first thing we have to do is write an equation for the circle shown in the graph. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So let's get the h and the k. So it looks like the center is located at x equals 4 and y equals 3. We know the radius is 2, so 2 squared is 4. So there's our equation. So the next thing we want to do is we want to find these four coordinates. This first one says, what's the value of y when x is equal to 4? So let's substitute x equals 4 into the equation. 4 minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 4. 4 minus 4 is 0, so that cancels out. So now we're left with this jazz. We got to get rid of the squared, so we'll take the square root. And we get y minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 4, which is 2. And then we add 3 to both sides, so we get y equals plus or minus 2 plus 3. So really, what are our two possibilities? It could be 2 plus 3 is 5, or negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So let's see. We want this one up here. Um, let's see, we would go 4. We could either go 5, or I'll bet that point right there is 4, 1. So which one do we want? that one right there. All right, so let's do the next one. Let's find that value when x is equal to 3. So again, we'll take the equation. x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 4. So what I did is I took that x and I plugged it into that x right there. All right, so 3 minus 4 is negative 1, squared is positive 1, and then we've got that, so we can subtract 1 from both sides, 
and we'll get y minus 3 squared equals 3. To get rid of that square, we got to take the square root. So y minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 3. And then we can add 3 to both sides. So y equals plus or minus, let's see, the square root of 3 is about 1.7 plus 3. So 1.7 plus 3 is 4.7. That's one choice. Or negative 1.7 plus 3 is 1.3. So which value is this going to be? It's going to be this one right here, 4.7. Um, the other value would give us a point down there. All right, here's the last one. We have to figure out what's the x value when y is equal to 3. So in this case, we go back to the original equation. We want to solve for the x and then uh, substitute in the y. Oops. Three minus three is zero, that cancels. So we can do the square root, that cancels. We get x minus four equals plus or minus, square root of four is two. And then we can add four to both sides and we're gonna get plus or minus two plus four. And so now we have two choices, plus two plus four is six, Minus 2 plus 2 is 2. So let's see. Our x values are either going to be 6 or 2. I think we want that one right there. Okay. So these are all kind of tricky. Let's go to the next thing, which is parabolas. Now there's the general equation for a parabola that opens up. We know the a value will be positive. So the question is, we have to solve for a. So we have to figure out that value. Well, let's see. We know the vertex is 3, 1, so we know the h and the k. So 3 and 1. And then we happen to know an x and a y value right here. So we know the y value is 2 and the x value is 1. So we can substitute all those numbers in and solve for a. Let's do it. All right. Well, hmm. we can subtract a 1 from both sides. We'll get 1 equals a, let's see, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and negative 2 squared is 4. So now we can divide both sides, and we can get that A equals 1 quarter. So our equation is Y equals 1 quarter x minus 3 squared plus 1. So there we go. Um, we're going to skip that. <coughs> and let's use this equation now to find the y value when x is 0. Well, essentially, if x is 0, we're finding the y-intercept. So let's go ahead and do that. So y equals um, 1 quarter, 0 minus 3 squared plus 1. Negative 3 squared is 9. So we have 9 quarters plus 1, which is, let's see, 9 divided by 4 equals plus 1 is 
So there's the y-intercept. Now let's find the value x when y is equal to 5. And we want x greater than 0. Well, you know what? Why is this thing important? Let's, let's look up at the graph. Um, let's find y equals 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's y equals 5. And when we solve this for y equals 5, we're going to get two x values. And one of these x values is going to be negative, and one is going to be positive. And so we're going to want the one that's bigger than 0. We're going to want that one right there. So let's go ahead and substitute this information into our equation. y is 5. We want to solve for x. And so what we're going to do is subtract 1. So 4 equals 1 quarter x minus 3 squared. And then we'll multiply both sides by 4. So 16 equals x minus 3 squared. And we can take the square root of both sides and get x minus 3 equals plus or minus 4. And we can add 3. And we'll get our x value is 3 plus or minus 4. So what are the two possibilities? Well, 3 plus 4 is 7. And 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So like we were saying up here, that's negative 1, that's 7, that's the one that we're going to want because it's bigger than 0. So x equals 7. All right, so those are the tools that you're going to need for solving some applications problem. So I'm going to leave it right there.